Hi, welcome back to the Small Show Beer Review. In this episode, we're going to acquaint ourselves with Cremo Springs Premium Lager. Now, this is a beer that comes from um, Ontario, just north of Toronto, and uh, Cremo is a town that makes beer in. Um, from what I've seen, they produce a few, couple of different beers, really. Uh, this being the most popular among the beer drinks in Ontario, especially people who understand that. Um, you can go much deeper and you can find much better beers than you know, your average macro lager. Now this is a, it's either classified as an amber lager or a golden lager, but it's, you know, they try to brew this as close to na natural tasting beers as possible. And it says in the can, no additives, no preservatives and no pasteurization. Good, good old fashioned pure natural beer. Now this is a can. It's slightly, it's, it's, it's you know, standard North American can, I believe. It's a uh, uh, four seventy-three mils or one U.S. pint, five percent ABV, and uh, apparently, since it's not pasteurized, you always have to refrigerate this. Now let's read the back label. Cream of Springs Premium Lager has been honored as one of the world's great beers, rich, well balanced, and made with all the good stuff. A direct fire brewing process uses only pure spring water, finest malted barley, imported hops, and select yeast to make this unique amber lager. Each batch is crafted by a team dedicated to producing the perfect beer. Cream of Springs Premium Lager should be always kept refrigerated and delivered fresh week. Enjoy. Okay, let's take a closer look and review this. I've had this quite a few times, both in tap and in cans. Every time I go to Toronto, in fact, I usually you know, tend to have at least one of these. And it sure is good old fashioned lager. Let's see what's all about. Okay, I'm going to be using my uh, Nonic pint glass from St. Ambrose from Mike McCarson's Brewery. Um, one of the things you can use for these kind of lagers. I'm not a big fan of mugs or steins, so that's what I usually go with. Pull it out. Nice. Already kind of smelling differently from all the macros and uh, pale lagers. Now this is not a pale lager, even if you don't want to call it an amber. This is a golden lager. It's not, and you can see from the first appearance that it's not the same as the average macro. In fact, you could confuse this with an ale or something. Even though you know the carbon isn't very high, you can definitely see this as more of a nail, uh, lager than an ale. Very floral um, scent to it. it. Makes me, you know, think of those um, Great Lakes Brewery beers I reviewed: the uh, Orange Peel Ale and uh, Green Tea Ale. Um, can definitely smell hops in this one. Sort of a grassy floor and hops, both, I guess. Um, some dry malts as well. Um, it's a fair, you know, it's a fair shot if you could say this beer is a fruity beer, um, especially again compared to um, the average lager. Really. Quite a nice, rich aroma roll. Very, very untypical for lagers usually. So uh, I forgot to describe the body. It's a, uh, it's an orange kind of color, um, more orange than gold or anything. And we've got a nice head that's not, you know, probably not going to display too quickly. Um, off hair, off white colour. Let's give it a try. Mm. Very good. Very enjoyable. Um, starts out with a fair amount of hop bitterness, followed in a nice fruity notes. I'm thinking like apple, maybe things like that. And then you get a nice mold background as well. Mm. Carbonation is just perfect. It's you know, nice and a bit fizzy, but nothing that you know will disturb. The enjoyment. Mm. I actually love this more than I usually like it. This is 
Very good. I have to mention that this can was actually not refrigerated for quite a few months, and I um, this week just, you know spent um, this week in the fridge, but you know, which proves that you know I'm lucky, I guess, because yeah, you should always refrigerate things that are not pasteurized. But um, yeah, very good tasting beer. If this was given to me blind, I'd probably not say this is a lager at all. It tastes differently. But, you know, I have to drink more of it. Kind of get an idea that probably this is the initial taste for a lager. And not, you know, what people are used to these days. Anyways, I'll come back with my final words. This is a very good bit. And um, I'll keep saying that because I'm disappointed that I'm only astonished how good this is. Alright, so I'm back. I'm back with Cream of Springs. This is a wonderful beer. Uh, I guess that's what beer is supposed to take, like the real sort of craft lagers or maybe old fashioned beers. It's funny, they've been only brewing this for 22 years. So it's brewed since eight, 1987, before I was born actually. But, you know, this is very, very, very drinkable, very tasty. And uh, the best thing about it, I think, is that you can taste each ingredient separately. You get uh, loads of malts, um, enough sweetness, enough of green, nice feel to it. Um, no junks, you get some hoppy, you know, bitterness, and maybe some grassiness as well. Uh, definitely fruity uh, for a lager. I was able to discover some notes of um, orange, maybe apple, pear, that's it, in the taste as well as a nice um, drinkable, very you know, drink friendly if you drink this loads. And this is probably the more most enjoyable pint of cream or spring I've ever had. And I tried it on tap as well. Um, if you drink it straight out of the can, it's not bad, but you know, it's not nearly as good as drinking from a glass. But yeah, you should definitely try that if you can. Um, as you probably know I'm anticipating I'm gonna grade this real high and this I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 because this is very could even deserve a 10 but you know I'm not going to go that high but it's pretty much in the same league as all those old fashioned natural tasting beers like Anchor Steam which some people might you know, be a revelation because don't really taste like lagers but in fact this is more natural and more you know real than all the lagers they sell today but yeah very good beer I'm really impressed um, yeah, wrapping it up, 9 out of 10 for Cream of Spring, Cream of Lager, try it out, and keep drinking good beer, it's all it's all about, cheers. Mm -hmm.